Welcome to Engineers Academy. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to receive the notification for the upcoming videos. Now we will be going to solve this problem 284. So in this problem it is said that determine and locate the resultant R of the two forces and one couple. So there are two forces and one couple and we need to determine the resultant of these two forces, right? And we need to locate the resultant of these two forces, right? So these two forces are producing moment about this point. Let's suppose if this is the origin, right? So if I put the positive y axis here, so let's suppose if this is positive x and this is positive y, right? So this is that point. Let's suppose if this is point O, right? So what we will do is that first we will find the resultant, right? So we will find the resultant, so we will find the Rx component of the resultant, so it will be equal to summation of all forces along x or the components along x. So Rx will be equal to, in this case, there is no force or component along x, right? And we cannot resolve these uh, two vertical forces, so Rx is equal to 0. Similarly, we will find Ry and it will be equal to summation of all forces along y or components along y, right? So Ry will be equal to, since this is the positive y direction, so this 5 kN is towards positive, so I will write 5 kN minus 8 kN, so the Ry will be equal to minus 3 kN, right? And if we find the magnitude of R, so it will be equal to Rx square plus Ry square under the root 2. So this Rx is 0, so magnitude will be equal to 3 kN, so this is R magnitude, right? Now we will find the moment about O, right? So this is the moment about O, and this is that point, let's suppose the O point is here somewhere, right? So the moment about O, and let's assume that the counterclockwise moment is positive, right? So as we can see that this couple is counterclockwise moment, so we will write it as plus 25 kilonewton meter and similarly as we can see that this 5 kilonewton force is producing counterclockwise moment as well right so I will write plus 5 and the perpendicular distance of this force from O is 2 right similarly I will write this 8 kilonewton force so it is producing clockwise moment as we can see about this point O so I will write minus 8 and the perpendicular distance of this 8 from this point O is 2 plus 2 plus 2, so it is 6, right? So this will give us minus 13 kilonewton meter, right? Moment about O. So if we write it like this, so moment about O will be equal to 13 kilonewton meter and this minus represent that this moment is clockwise, right? So this resultant should produce 13 kilonewton meter moment and the direction should be clockwise, right? So now we will find the location of this R from point O, right? So how to find? So we will write this equation R into D is equal to moment magnitude, right? So D will be equal to 13 divided by R and R is 3, right? So we will get 4.33 meters. So this is the distance of a resultant at which this resultant of 3 kN will produce a moment of 13 kN moment and the direction should be clockwise, right? So now we need to decide that whether we should place this force, this resultant force in the in towards the positive x-axis, towards the right of O or towards the left of O, right? So let me draw the free body diagram. So let's suppose if this is that O point and this is the positive Y and this is the positive X, right? And let's suppose that this is that beam. Somewhere here, right? So this is the beam. Now, if uh, the magnitude of R is 3 kN, so I will represent that force and the direction of this R is towards the negative Y, so this is minus 3 kN, only the Ry component of this is minus 3 kN. So we will draw this force 
in the negative y direction it should be like this right and now as we can see that this is 2 meters 2 meters and the distance comes out to be 4.3 meters and the total length of the beam is 6 meter right so it will be somewhere here right and this distance should be how much so this distance should be d which is equal to 4.33 meters this is the resultant of magnitude 3 kilo newton and now we will assess that whether this position towards the right is okay or not right so here we can see that this r will produce a clockwise moment if this is placed towards the right of this point o now if i move this force if i move this force towards the towards the left of this beam right so as we can see that if i place it here so then in in this position it will produce a counterclockwise moment so this position is not right right so the previous position is the accurate position right so this is the accurate position and so now what what we will write for the solution for the answer of this problem so we will write that the r magnitude is equal to 3 kilo newton right and the direction is direction is towards negative y axis and d is equal to 4.33 meters from o towards right right so this will be the complete description of this resultant and this d right so this is the complete answer for this problem right